Greetings Church. Uh, today is uh, Monday, the uh, 9th of uh, May, 2022. I'm sort of dazed. I just came out of the public library and um, I went and bought a 128 gigabyte uh, flash drive last week to replace the 256 gigabyte that was stolen out of the uh, bag box. And um, I filled it up with um, April and May videos, photos, and Word documents. And when I tried to open up the flash drive, the 128, it will not open. Um, the form, the other, where I was getting the information from, um, all of the, uh, uh, all the folders. There's like 25 folders. Um, and then folders like 30, 31, 32 are just 33, all the way to 36 are the pages that they've extracted from the fo uh, folders that I've scanned. Yesterday, I got to about 100, uh, 1,166, and um, I was missing some pages, and I made copy, and I made, I scanned them again uh, yesterday. And when I went looking for them today, I couldn't find them on the flash drive. So they went into the storage again last night and deleted uh, probably all of everything. Everything has been deleted. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure how to respond. Um, they've been uh, offering me sex in exchange for the work instead of uh, the ministry, the churches that I try to become members of are satanically grounded. Um, so the Satanist from Grace Community Church and from New York State out of Gabriel Franklin's house, apparently Gabriel is a Satanist. So I'm dealing with a bunch of Satanists that are lurking in the shadows and they are controlling the computer and they're going, so whatever establishment I enter into, there the, the the Satanist remains and apparently the Queen of England is the Satanist is the main catalyst of this whole thing uh, Gabriel Franklin represents the Queen and the Queen is of the devil and um, they're controlling they want me to yell and scream and preach and they want they hit me and they're expecting me to come up with sermons outlines uh, based on how I've been hit so it's like I get hit I preach a sermon and an outline and um, they take the sermon and outline in exchange for sex. I'm supposed to run to the sex store, get some anal sex, eat the butt, have sex with the butt, suck the cock, everything that the homosexual does, and then that is my payment for uh, the sermon series I've just completed. They've been doing this for 24 years, and apparently Gabriel has taken some of the work and sold them to Haitians, and uh, the Haitian community, I don't know who in the Haitian community would want my preaching, my manuscripts, and my books, but I came up with this sign today. This is the sign that I came up with. Uh, it says, and, I, and I'm kind of bold about this because I have to be, I can't be shy. You know, uh, anal sex in exchange for church work. That's the unbelieving community. And, or, 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 or what? The Christian worker is worthy of his wages, Luke 10, 7. Uh, and of course, there are questions at the bottom. What is the work of the ministry? Um, and you can see here, Matthew 28, 18 through 20, 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 2, 1 Peter 5, 2. Um, what are the wages? Malachi 3.8, 2 Corinthians 9.7. Isn't sex a sin outside of the marriage covenant? Hebrews 13.4. So I think I've answered the questions as also I've asked them, but I'm not going to preach this in exchange for anal sex with another man. I mean, I'm just... You know, I, I didn't know this is what was going on in the shadows. You know, I didn't, I thought that was just that, but I didn't know that the devil was going to use, use it to um, control and manipulate my Christian life, my housing, my, you know, pretty much everything. You know, he has complete control over everything. I mean, everything I've ever done in those stores. Uh, I don't know how many pictures and videos they have of me going in and out of those places, me going in and out of those booths, yada, yada, yada. I, I have to make this a confession. God, forgive me for my sin. I didn't know I was dealing with Lucifer. I thought I was dealing with Grace Community Church. I thought I was dealing with the body of Christ, but apparently I'm not dealing with the body of Christ. I'm dealing with the devil. And um, here comes my bus. But I thought I'd let you know. Um, I, I, I'm kind of flabbergasted and shocked at the whole thing. Okay, my my stuff is right here, and um, and 
and so um, that's the second one I'm not sure if that's who they are you know if that's how they come out but in any case they're all over Portland you know they are all over Portland I was at the computer and they were right there at the computer I was so pissed off at the computer that I farted <laughs> the Lord gave me gas and I just let the situation have it you know I was so pissed off about that but in any case um, and I didn't mean to be cruel, you know, in, in, um, against those women, but they were so hard, you know, and uh, I just, that was gross of me, and I apologize for that, but, you know, you can only take so much, you know, nightly piercings, raping, yada, 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 and it's an everyday thing. In any case, keep me in your prayers, and I'll keep you in mind. I gotta get going, and uh, pray that God would remove the devil, huh?